길을 걸어 가다든 말듯한 손끝 사이로 네 맘이 내게 온건 어쩔 수 없지만 Hello my gorgeous lovebugs and welcome back to Kibo M's channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below and welcome to this very first attempt of a makeup routine. To start off, I already moisturized my skin and made sure that I have proper layer of moisturizer as well as sunscreen on. One big tip from me to you, please hydrate ladies. Makeup can make us dry, make us look flaky. We don't want that. Let's get right into it. So, of course, we're going to start with the primer as the first base of the makeup routine. Next up, I'm going to go in with a little bit of my setting spray just to give it that nice glow beneath all of the makeup. Then we get right into the eyebrows. First of all, I always make sure that I brush my eyebrows up. I've got very curly eyebrows, so this attempt at me trying to shape them is always such a mission. I also always go in with this little spoolie because I feel like it actually does the trick just to get that extra effect of neatness and putting it in place. Then I go in with my dark brown eyeliner and guys please note that in this video I'm not going to specify product names, prices, where to get these products. However, I can confirm with you right here right now, I do not spend a lot of money on my products. Most of my products I you know, get at convenience stores and or from China Mall, really really convenient. And then for the makeup though, because my skin is really sensitive, that's where I spend a little bit more money so that I don't get any allergies, etc. We're now going to go in with the concealer just to shape those eyebrows and make them look more defined. I'm now going in with that sponge and making sure that that concealer is nicely penetrated into my skin. And to do that, to make sure that there's no creases, I use a damp sponge, guys. Dampen it so that it works more effectively. Once the brows are ready, I go in with my makeup brush and this is the flat brush that I use. I just feel like it's more convenient and it's so cute. I'm literally one of those people that will never ever find the exact matching skin tone makeup so i just mix it up i use estee lauder and i use the fit me and it works for me i use caramel and i use nutmeg i think it is and it's it's been working for me fine it looks pretty good and <laughs> i suppose you'll see the results when we done Cool. now that we've got that out of the way we're gonna go in with the concealer underneath my eyelid so that I can get that highlight definition and I can look like I am about to go onto the runway so witty honey <laughs> Oh, 
all right and now it is time for me to go in with that baking powder i use a banana baking powder because i just feel like this works better for me in terms of highlighting it makes me you know get that proper effect of the highlight so i'm gonna let it bake for a bit and yeah Okay. <laughs> now it's time to do that contouring i use a concealer for contouring it's easy for me i know that i can get the right color for my contouring i just use the same product as i use for my under eyes and my you know um my chin and other parts and bona girl i've got this okay i've got this it's gonna make me look snatched and cute and all Ladies, if I never mentioned this to you before, I will disown you. I will I will literally walk past you and disown you if you do not go in there and properly blend your makeup. Just kidding, guys. I will never disown you. <laughs> now, I'm going to go in with this palette and I'm going to now use the um, contouring powder um, or the contouring color. It's actually a blush, but I still use it as a contouring. It's got such a nice definition. I love it. Did I mention my plea to please, please, please blend, ladies, blend, just blend, blend and you will see miracles, blend. Ladies, it is now unfortunately time for me to make a fool of myself and attempt at doing my eyeshadow. I am so bad at doing eyeshadow. It's actually sad. What what am I doing? What what is what is this girl doing? <laughs>
girls we're almost there it is time to put on that blush to make you look fresh to make you look young to make you look like you are blushing hmm? like you got that e-wallet kind of situation but it does make you look like you are really awake and it makes you you know your cheeks look more defined as well and it just makes you look more live if that makes sense Let's go in with that highlighter just to give that popping glow because the girl's got a pop, the girl's got a glow. <laughs> Ladies, please don't come for me. I am going to blame C. Tati Litsipa. She's the one that actually plugged me <laughs> with this cute look of putting a fake beauty spot on. I just think it looks so cute. You should see C. Tati Litsipa. She just looks so fabulous when she does this. So I thought, let me be, let me be. Let me be influenced by Sitati and put on that beauty spot. <laughs> And just like that, honeys, love bugs, sweeties, the girl is done. Look at that. I look flawless. I look like I am a million dollars. I look like Ranta Hayawa. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share. See you next time.